Hey guys, Metal here. Today I wanted to address a very common comment I get ever since I started my YouTube channel with 5 map tips and daily pro tip. Always gotten comments about how spawn killing is cheap or how it's, you know, it's just, I shouldn't do it, you know, stuff like that. Just how people don't like spawn killing. And I just want to go ahead and take a moment to address that. So the title of this video is Devil's Advocate Spawn Killing in Rainbow Six. Just want to take a moment to define what a devil's advocate is, if you're not familiar with the term. According to Wikipedia, a devil's advocate is someone who, given a certain argument, takes a position they do not necessarily agree with, or simply an alternate position from the accepted norm for the sake of debate or to explore the thought further. In taking this position, the individual taking on and playing the devil's advocate role seeks to engage others in an argumentative discussion process. Now, I am okay with spawn killing, uh, so I'm just taking an alternative position from the accepted norm, according to this definition. But I just wanted to take a moment to talk about this for you guys. So, mainly the thing about spawn killing is that it is something... So the first thing that I want to address, right, is that it's against the spirit of the game. Now this game is an arcadey um, shooter. It's not very realistic. You carry two giant metal walls in your pocket all the time, and a bunch of ammo, and two guns, and you're covered in armor, and you're running all around in this building, and you can whip around you can whip around 360 degrees or 180 degrees in a second. You know this is not a realistic game. It's it's authentic maybe, or it has a tactical feel, but it's not. This isn't you know this is not a simulator so t saying that it's against the spirit of a tactical like SWAT counterterrorism kind of game to shoot in and out of the building to me is just it's just a non-starter it's perfectly within the spirit of the game for someone to shoot out of the building and it's perfectly within the spirit of the game for someone to shoot in the building so so just I just think that's irrelevant this is honestly this is just completely subjective and it's not really an argument um basically at the end of the day it's a strategy that Better players use to pub stomp against worse players. If if you watch any of the videos on my channel of competitive matches of ranked games where I run into other competitive players and I try and spawn peek in those games, I usually just get killed. Like, right away. I hit the window and I just get shot in the face. Because a good player in this game, when they spawn in, they start to watch the windows. In any given spawn, there's only about two or three positions that a defender can even take to shoot at you without giving the other team the free wall hacks that they get from being outside. So... Just right there by itself, you you just have to watch those two or three windows. You just can't, you don't spawn in and just start sprinting towards the building like an idiot and just expose yourself to get shot by anywhere. And if anything, that's what's against the spirit of the game is just not think at all about what you're doing. I'm spawned in, I'm holding shift or I'm holding down my left stick and I'm just going to make it to this building and, you know, nobody's even going to try and shoot at me. Like, that's just an insane assumption to take. Now... Finally, uh, I want to distinguish between what is, you know, if you're killing people who literally, like, if you watch someone phase in to existence, that is kind of cheap. You know, but that's not really the situation normally. Normally, the attackers spawn in cover with their superior long-range weapons, their assault rifles, their DMRs that can all fit ACOGs, and if you are in a position where... You as an attacker spawn in with your assault rifle with an ACOG and you get shot by a defender from the building because you just didn't want to think about how you play at all, then that is entirely your fault. It's not the defender being cheap. You don't have an excuse. It's just that you were not playing the way you should have been doing. You weren't thinking about how to play. You were just holding shift and running out of your spawn towards the building. So at the end of the day, I just wanted to talk about that. The... Um, just, it's a really common comment I get. It's a really common criticism that people don't like spawn peeking. And frankly, I mean, I'm not going to stop doing it. I've been doing it since the beta. It works sometimes. It doesn't work sometimes. It's a very risky strategy. Uh, it definitely doesn't work against players on an equal skill level. It's really just a pop stomping technique. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this, this discussion on spawn peeking. If you still feel like spawn peeking is cheap or or whatever you what whatever reason you don't like it I'd like to hear your opinion below and I will probably be responding to comments a lot on this video I do res I do read all of my comments and do respond to most of them uh, if you want to talk to me or game with me it's cool if you check out the official discord and uh, if you really enjoy my content want to see more of my commentary tips in the future go ahead and subscribe and I'd really appreciate your support on patreon have a great one guys